Wow. Okay, t so tonight I'm going to make a plate as I talk to you about everything that we're eating tonight. Um, so if we could do like we did last night and then just stand over there by the chairs so I can point everything out to you and talk to you about um, the food. So if you could come over here, yeah, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to make a plate. Now, um, what we're having tonight, these are lentils with roasted potatoes, and lentils are a bean, they're a bean, they're a legume, slightly curried, not spicy, um, Lots of turmeric and garlic and medicine, oregano and sage and bay. And I, if you haven't noticed, I like to kind of do what Hippocrates taught us. Let thy food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. So even though it's delicious, it's still medicinal and good for us. Um, now, I didn't use cans. I used real beans like this, but this just happened to be over there. So I can show you what garbanzo beans or chickpeas are, and that's how we make that with lemon and garlic and tahini, which is sesame, um, a little cayenne and cumin, and uh, let's see, we got a little paprika, olive oil. Um, so that's traditionally an appetizer, but you know that because you already had it. <laughs> and, uh, we're just going to have a regular salad tonight. I'll chop up more pita for that, but I also want to show you. Um, Kevin, can you hand me that knife? Knife? Yes, please, if you could set it here. Thank you. Okay, so pita bread, flat bread, or, you know, every country has their own kind, pretty much. But, um, ah, it's supposed to... Oh no, these are, never mind. <laughs> so we're just going to cut these back up. That never happened. All right, so we'll use these to dip in the hummus. All right, so the lentils and potatoes I explained to you. Let me come down, excuse me, please. Okay, so this is quinoa, and it's a grain, and it looks like this. So similar, I mean, it's the closest thing I can think of. It's similar to rice, but um, if you've heard of like couscous, tabbouleh, quinoa, have you heard any of those words? Okay, and then here, do you remember when you went to the farm and you picked the, the big white head, the cauliflower? Do you remember? Okay, so that's what we're going to have tonight roasted with the broccoli and um, garlic. And then I finished it off with a little balsamic vinegar. So um, now the uh, vegetables, what I wanted to share with you, uh, something you can always keep in the back of your mind if you wanna know what's good for you or what part of your body it's good for. Do you remember when you picked the cauliflower? Who picked the cauliflower? <laughs> no, okay, but you remember it looked like a big head? Do you remember the cauliflower? The big white one? Okay, you remember? Okay, I'm sorry, I should look up what it is. Okay, so cauliflower and broccoli, its cousin, the green one, and it's the same, looks like a head, yeah? They're part of the brassica family. And so when you look at vegetables, if you want to know what part of your body it's good for, look at the shape of the vegetable. For example, cauliflower, broccoli, cabbage. What do they look like? Green. 
Exactly. <laughs> so they're good brain food. You can learn a lot and remember more and hopefully not have any You know, it's Alright, so we will do you want your lentils on the plate or